All right, so this is going to be a quick video showing how to open up this Asus X550L. All right, so the exact model number is X550LA-DH71. So if you're looking for the exact specifications, I mean, this isn't my computer, so I don't know exactly what's in here. But anyways, let's go ahead and do a quick uh, popping open of this thing. So first we're going to remove the battery. Just slide these two tabs to the side. This one actually locks in place. This one's spring-loaded, so you have to hold it over to the left. And then we're going to slide this out. Um, the battery here is, I'm guessing this is the model number. All right, A41-X550A. All right, so we'll set that aside for now. And let's go ahead and open this bottom cover. All right, so we've got these two screws here. All right, you want to set them aside and keep them in order just in case they're different size, shape, or length. All right, the way I do that, I put them flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So we got two here. All right, then we're going to slide this cover down and lift it up. And here we can see we actually have RAM integrated here, and then we have one removable, upgradable stick. So, excuse me. We have a 4 gig PC3L 12800S stick of RAM. There you go. That's what it looks like. Um, you can technically upgrade this. You should be able to upgrade to any PC3L 12800S stick. So if you find like an 8 gig stick or a 16 gig stick, you can put that. Though sometimes when you have mismatching sizes of RAM, it doesn't function as smoothly or as quickly. So keep that in mind. More RAM will help a little bit but again you do you might lose some speed if you have mismatching sizes the recommendation my recommendation is to actually upgrade the hard drive to an ssd the customer is actually scrapping this laptop i don't know if something's wrong with it but um, they told me they just want the data from it and then they want to wipe it out so anyways once we've removed the three screws here you don't need to remove a fourth one because the other one was from the bottom cover, right? We're going to use this tab. Usually, I don't like using these tabs. I worked on one earlier, and the tab was so old it just snapped off. So if you break this tab, you can actually use these two sides here and then push it down like that. But again, you can also use the tab to help pull it and then lift it out once you've slid that back. All right, so the customer just wanted me to pull the data off here and then wipe it out. So I'm going to do that. There's four screws here holding this hard drive into this caddy. So let's go ahead and remove those. And then we'll go ahead and um, do the other part. So that's basically all I'm going to show in here because there's not really um, much else unless I completely take it apart. But the customer just wanted me to wipe the hard drive and that's it so that they don't have to worry about their data being compromised. Um, so yeah, we're just going to pull this drive out again, keep the screws in order then to get that out. Once we've got all four, just drop it and it pops out like that. All right. Anyways, it's very straightforward to put it back in. Just put the four screws back in, start with the hard drive back here. And then when you drop it in, you can actually slide it over. Um, and sometimes if you can't slide it over like that, you can use this pull tab to help like kind of grab it. But I feel like it's easier to kind of just push it that way. Then you just put the three screws back here and put the cover back on. It slides back in and put the two screws. Um, but anyways, I think that's pretty straightforward. This piece slides in like that and the battery just slides in like this. So again, this is just a super short video. Make sure to lock this again so this doesn't like wobble and kind of come loose. Um, but yeah, very quick short video just showing um, how you can quickly upgrade this. I don't see a screw for this keyboard, so or not the keyboard, the optical disk drive. I think it's underneath the keyboard. So if for some reason you wanted to upgrade that, like some of the other models, you can actually put a hard drive caddy in there if you wanted a second hard drive. Um, Actually, it looks like you'd have to take this whole thing apart, which this one shouldn't be too difficult. Um, it's like similar models. You just get your fingernails in here and then you can pop this out. I mean, or pry tools, of course. Um, but yeah, you do have to get all the screws out from underneath here all over. Um, but again, that's not what my customer asked me to do. So we're going to stop there. And yeah, I might have another video of a very similar model if you did need that somehow. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I highly recommend, again, upgrading to an SSD if you have this laptop and still use it.
I don't know why they're getting rid of it if it's dead or something because this laptop isn't that old. It's Windows 8 or it came with Windows 8 and it actually looks pretty new um, or like not overly used. Um, but again, um, I highly recommend upgrading to an SSD. If you need help doing that, I have a video showing how to clone the hard drive to an SSD. You can get like a USB adapter to attach your drive outside, make an exact copy of your drive, swap it out, and then it should work um, much faster. Again, SSDs, huge improvement, highly recommended. Um, most people don't need like one terabyte, two terabyte, four terabyte. Um, so you can get smaller SSDs. They're pretty cheap. Um, 480 gigs, 500 gigs around there is like 60 bucks, sometimes even less. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, I already showed how to put everything back together. It's pretty straightforward. Just put the screws back afterwards. And yep, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Let's drop this. Bye.